Is it working? I hate being tied down to the podium. It's like a little barrier. So um, this weekend's been a lot of fun. Uh, thanks to you all for coming. We've had one of the highest turnouts. We've had a government council in a very long time. And it's good to see so many student leaders just coming out to, to give up. You, you, you all give up a weekend. You give up part of your break to come out and be student leaders and to learn about issues and to work on things that affect all students in the state. And that's something that you should be proud of. Um, you do a lot of hard work for students, and you pay a lot of attention. I think um, conversations were had earlier about how there's so much attendance at our board meetings compared to others. Um, you can imagine this is not that large an association. Um, but you can even look at um, the Minsky Board of Trustees meeting. It's a huge, huge, you know, very powerful board. But the attendance is maybe an eighth the size of the attendance that these meetings get. So we have a lot of participation in our board meetings, and that's something that we're really excited about and that I'm really proud of to be able to say that we have constituents that really, really care what we're doing and want to pay attention to the issues at hand. Um, and so I'm very glad that you guys are here. I'm proud to, to be a part of an organization where there's so much um, diligence in keeping track of what's going on. There's so many people interested in the decisions made. Um, I'm also very proud that we didn't have any major issues this weekend. You guys weren't that loud at night, and um, I don't believe we broke any elevators in the hotel. Yeah. Yeah. The so, so good job. <laughs> um, but I, but I, I really am thankful you guys. You, you're a great group of people to work with. Um, it's always kind of a danger and a liability, some would say, to have a group of college students take over a hotel be student leaders for a weekend, but we always seem to make it work, and we're always accountable to each other. You know, people screw up at night. You hear apologies from them the next day, saying, I screwed up, you know, and they make it work. They, they right the wrongs, and so I, I'm proud to be a part of an organization where that's the case, and a group of people that are peers who are responsible enough to take accountability for their actions. Um, speaking of being impressed, I'm also impressed with all of our staff and the rest of our cabinet, my cabinet that, that work so hard on putting these conferences together. Because um, they don't just do work on conferences, you know? That's, that's not their primary focus. Their primary focus is working towards advocating for you guys. And so, uh, for example, Jason Fossum doing all sorts of work on this conference. Um, pretty much everything that happened yesterday, um, Jason Fossum organized. But that's not his main job. His main job is um, working on advocating you know, policy work at the Capitol. And so I think that we owe our staff uh, a big round of applause for the hard work. <laughs> they really make it happen for the organization. Um, they're very, very dedicated. Um, and it's, it's kind of an interesting situation because we're all students, we're all paying tuition, we all have these huge looming problems. Um, but these are staff members of our organization the, the point isn't that they're students, some of them actually still are, but the, what they're fighting for is, is our cause, but they fight for it with a passion as if they're us. And, and that's something that is the reason that our organization is in the place that it's in right now. It's because our staff has such a huge amount of dedication to something that, that, that a lot of times you can't find in an association or organization looking for the same goals. So I'm very blessed to have them. Um, another thing I kind of wanted to talk about is um, we hear a lot of um, comments and good points and ideas at the end of conferences, and I I, um, I love the input we get. And I want to encourage you all if you have something that you think we could do better, um, if you have a criticism, if you have some point of you know something you want or a praise, we have praise. But if you have something like that or a comment about a conference, feel free to come and talk. You know, I don't have a closed door policy at all. Um, I'm very much open to talking to people. You can talk to me on Facebook, you can email me, uh, you can call me, let me know what's going on. You can come and talk to me in person. I want to hear what's going on. You don't, you don't feel like you have to address me in a public meeting if you want to talk to me sometimes. I feel like um, there are some students who, who think that the best way to address the cabinet is you know, by charging them in a general assembly or something of that sort, which is not the case. We want to hear from you directly. Um, you heard me talking yesterday about fighting for the individual student, and that's really the case. I really want to hear what's going on with you. So 
So feel free to, to bring up those issues directly to us. Um, we, we'd love to hear about them. And I, I love taking criticism. Um, that's something that, it, it's something that you have to work towards, but um, I, I really like to hear what you think I'm screwing up, because if you don't tell me that, then I know that I'm screwing up and you're just not telling me about it. So I'd rather not make that assumption. So I, that kind of thing I'm allowed to keep from now. Um, as we wrap up this conference, I want to make sure that, and I, I know you're all aware of this, so we're starting a new semester. Sometimes um, when, when a new semester happens, um, when we go from fall to January, we, we lose some momentum. Um, people say, well, we're fighting all fall. But the truth of the matter is, there's a lot happening right now. And we need to be on the ball. We have consultation happening on campuses. We have the legislative session starting up with statewide. Um, there's tons of budgets that are coming up. We have to be prepared for our spring general assembly. There's a lot to do. So don't get tired out, but I hope you had a good break because you're in for quite a long ride for the rest of the semester. <laughs> be, be on top of things at campuses. I would encourage you to start getting, asking the right questions. You've had a lot of training building up the consultation, so make sure it's happening on your campus. Make sure you know what your tuition changes mean. And while you're doing all this, while you're using all the training you, you know, learned fall semester, working towards spring semester, be looking for next year's student leaders. This is really key. Um, any of you that were in our, our so you want to be a cabinet member workshop yesterday, know that a lot of campaigns for elected positions next year start now um, for cabinet. Um, it, it's, it's now is the time where even if you don't know that you're going to run, you should be looking for people who you think are going to run. You should be bringing up those student leaders who are going to have to replace you. Um, it's an interesting job that we have where we work to replace ourselves, but it's something that's entirely necessary. And you might not be around next year, so you're going to have to tell them what the position is going to be this year. And, and be ready for that turnover. So I, I would encourage you to, to find next year's leaders, to seek those people out and to build them up. So with that, I thank you all for coming. I hope you have an excellent drive home and don't freeze. And I'm really excited to see what we're going to be doing this year. So I'll see you all in February. Thanks for being here.